Hi there. I get so many questions about my tent. So I thought I would make a little video since I took my tent out to uh, seal all the seams and get ready for the camping season. I have it set up in my yard. I have some of my camp things inside, but I'm not really camping right now. I'm home. So I'm just going to give you a quick tour. Um, first, this is a Coleman Octagon 98 Plus. It is the full fly option. And let me get up off of my bed since I'm being lazy here. Um, as you can see, I've got, I believe this is a full size uh, mattress there. A little, um, stand that I built with some scrap plywood. I've got a little Ikea solar charging lamp hanging from the ring on the ceiling. I've got a zero gravity chair that can pull out to recline the whole way. A little table that packs down flat from REI. My bucket toilet, which is new this year. Haven't used yet. Um, solar radio, solar fan. Anyways, that's the stuff. Oh, the carpet is a 9x9. Nine nine. So you can see there's 9 feet by 9 feet, and it doesn't fill up the whole space. I got that at Ocean State Job Lot. Alright, so, anyways, with the curtains open, you can see very airy, plenty of light coming in. One of the things that I really like about the ceilings is that how much of it is the mesh. So a lot of air comes around. The fly, which I'll show you better from the outside, is suspended away from this ceiling. Let's a lot of airflow come in, even when everything is zipped up for rain. Still has lots of airflow, stays comfortable. All right, I'm gonna go to the outside Oh, there are two doors. This one is a zip door. And this door is a hinged door. You got a little Velcro thing that keeps it from blowing open in the breeze. It does zip shut as well, so you can zip it shut. But you can see that the angle makes the door close automatically, which is nice. And then you just close that flap. Pretty much, if it's not too breezy, that'll keep it shut. From the outside, back up so we can see. Let's see from the outside. This is a large tent. I believe it's 12 by 12 or 13 by 13. I can set it up by myself. The one thing that you have to remember if you're camping anywhere where it might rain overnight is the windows do close from the outside. So before you go to bed at night, it is, oh God, I can't do this one handed. It's a good idea to close your windows up. Holy smokes, why can't I do this one-handed? Oh, for God's sakes. Pause. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna close that. You take these bungees and you attach them to your stake. And I'll show you why that's important. Because, if you peek here, you can see with those staked down, that window closing uh, closure keeps the fly away from the wall of the tent itself. That way if it rains and any water does seep through the fly, it's just going to go down to the ground. It's not going to be like, up against the tent. It also allows lots of air to flow through. And like I was saying earlier, the air flow through the windows, which you can see right here. 
It really makes this uh, tent super comfortable. And with the full fly, with it being zipped, if everything is buttoned up, for a big tent, it's actually surprisingly warm. There are some other videos on YouTube uh, with people setting them up and taking them down. It's really super simple and maybe takes 15 or 20 minutes solo. If you had a helper, you could cut that time down a little bit. I do have it staked out. I didn't, because it's only in my yard. I don't have the stakes in all the way. But the guy lines help keep it um, really stable in the wind. I've been in some pretty strong thunderstorms with this all buttoned up and it has done really well. Um, it does have the tub floor, which means that that like, kind of like that tarp material that's underneath uh, the floor of it comes up a little bit on the sidewalls. That helps to keep it dry. I do usually put a tarp as a uh, layer underneath the tent. Um, make sure when you do that, that everything is folded up underneath the tent. You don't want any of the tarp sticking out because otherwise when the rain comes, it goes underneath your tent. So you want the extra protection, but you want it all to be underneath the, the tent. You don't want any part of it poking out. Um, what else to answer? So as I said, this is a Coleman 98 plus octagon. And this is the, the door that has the zipper. You can go in. There is uh, tabs here on the floor. There's an orange one there as well on the opposite side. So you could hang a divider in here to separate it into two living quarters. I obviously don't do that. I am a solar camper for the most part, but I do really appreciate the size of the space um, because I camp somewhere where we get rain a lot. Not all day rains usually, but Almost every day we get a little period of rain, and it's nice to have a space not only for sleeping and laying down, but for hanging out, listening to music, reading a book, taking a nap, whatever. I also, I'm 5'10", I appreciate the height of, like, <laughs> the height of the ceiling. This is my hand extended up, like, to reach there. Mm hmm what else? It does come with a little uh, floor thing for the door, but it only has points to stake it on the two sides, and the wind always seems to make it fold over. I also find that it's kind of a trip hazard, so I usually use a different floor mat, a bigger one, that I can stake down a little bit better. But again, let me back up so you can see better. This is with the windows open, nice and airy. This is with the window zipped shut. I'm going to pause this. I'll close all the windows so you can see it closed up. Okay, so I've zipped it all up and I'll just do a little walk around so you can see. All of the sides and lots of nice airflow going through. The doors, even when I have everything zipped up, I generally keep a small section of it open. This overhang does a really good job of keeping any water from getting in there, even in crazy storms. That's usually, I leave it a tiny bit open, but there's just good enough airflow. Um, coming in around the edges even if it was zipped up so it's not for airflow I just like to be able to peek out have a little bit of a window anyways let's go back inside and see what it looks like closed up and then you close your door if you just put that storm flap over the edge of the door it keeps it from blowing open, but there are 